Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Marzullo here, Ram Studio Comics. Welcome back. So I want to demo a couple of these brushes from the new brush pack uh, for Manga Studio Clip Studio Paint. And I also want to thank everybody that's already got on board and supported. Uh, very cool of you guys. You know who you are. And so I want to give back and show you how you can use some of the features in these brushes. And obviously there's still a lot that are going to be uh, loaded. I'm just going to demo a couple of them for you uh, right now. So one of the ones that I like a lot is the foliage brush. Uh, in this one, basically, you kind of just start brushing in some leaves or foliage. You know, this is, could be something like uh, leaves going up a building or uh, trees or whatever. And what I generally will do is brush in a, a bit of a darker color. Now, notice how it's fading off to the side. So this brush has pressure sensitivity, okay? And you, if you want more of a solid effect, uh, you can or a less solid, you can bump down the brush density, but you can have this all the way up. Now keep in mind, if you use mouse clicks, you're gonna get a nice solid effect. So that's nice to add in uh, certain parts so that you don't have it too soft everywhere. Uh, you also can bump up the size of the brush and get uh, you know some different size leaves like that. Uh, so that's real handy. So you wanna combine those mouse clicks, I think, with the pressure sensitivity of the brush and get some nice variation going on in here. Then you can grab your different uh, tones or colors or whatever and, and get your different uh, depth going here and light source. So what I'll generally do is paint some lighter green up here to where some areas where I think the light might be hitting. Uh, again, I can use mouse clicks to get a little bit more uh, vivid uh, effect here and there. And I'll kind of draw, I like to drop in things like this early on and then paint over so that they blend back just a little bit. Then I'll grab a little bit brighter green with a touch of yellow, get some of that in there for some added uh, light source right there. And one of the things you'll notice with uh, trees is that a lot of times the shadows will be a little bit more into a blue. So you can get, oh, not that shade of blue. A little bit more deeper like that. Eh, probably gonna touch deeper. I struggle with that part. But uh, the other thing that you could do is also change your blending mode. So right here you can click, go to multiply and see it's a bit darker, a lot darker actually. Uh, and you wanna play with these settings. That's why I have them listed here. So as you know, in uh, Clip Studio Paint, you can uh, go into your settings here and just by toggling the eye, you'll get that to come over to here. So I've, I've basically enabled the ones that I thought were most important to increase functionality for this brush. So a little bit of shadows in there and you just paint back and forth and always study from life so that you can really figure out what looks uh, realistic or whatever effect you're going for. Obviously a mouse click is way too uh, dense for that, but I could uh, punch back the brush density and try that. And you wanna just really get into creating the subtleties. And also keep in mind, if you don't want the, sa the settings to be saved as you're making alterations to your brush, uh, you can click this icon here and it will always revert back to the initial settings, that little gear on the side of the brush. Uh, but you know, you want to be able to dance around with these settings. You really just want to get comfortable in here to know what changes you're making. And, uh, that's, that's why I think it's helpful to not have everything listed in this brush palette unless you actually need it. Okay. So the other thing is once you've got enough of this in place, and obviously I could take this a lot further for realism or, uh, refinement or whatever. Uh, remember that you can lock transparency. Everything that's painted here is now confined and we could go over to blending mode. We can maybe set this to, I don't know, add glow or lighten or any number of things. Let's pick a little bit more of a yellow. Um, we could even try a brighter blue, but I'll try a yellow, maybe an orangish yellow. Now let's see what it does. And now what it's gonna do is it's gonna lock the confinement and I can just brush back in. Now I'm using the same brush for this, so it's gonna paint back texture the opposite way. That can sometimes be helpful. It can sometimes be destructive. You really have to uh, feel it out and see what you like there. I think it looks okay, but you can also grab just a plain soft airbrush and do the same effect. So just remember that these blending modes are really important to kind of do light sources and things pretty quickly. Like if you've got a highlight brush here, set the glow dodge or something like that, you can get in here just really quickly and, and bring out a little bit more of that texture uh, by painting in there real softly and you know getting some of that that light source like that okay so let's go on to another brush here and let's try 
Uh, one that I'm pretty excited about, and there's going to be a few in this type of uh, effect. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, right here. Yeah. Okay, is this Nebula brush? Okay, and, and the reason why I created this one, I had a few requests to do power type uh, effects. And I'm going to show it to you over here, but I'll show you just a quick demo of a character I was playing around with, a suit design and stuff like that. And this is actually a combination of two of the brushes. This brush, if you've got the previous set from my inking brushes, this was the Kirby Crackle one that I made, uh, which I'm still pretty proud of. But that's more of an inking brush. So I did this inking outline behind the character, and then I started painting with the Nebula brush. And, and really the effect could be better uh, to go with the color scheme of the character, but I just want to show you kind of a quick representation of one way to use it. And then now I'll create a, another effect over here. So like with a lot of power effects, they generally will work best if you have contrast to work with. So let's take uh, something where we can paint a, a block of color. Actually, let's do a blue. It'll look cooler, I think. Let's do a dark blue, almost to a black to start with. So there's our, our contrasting background. And like I said, most power effects, are gonna you're going to need something like this to make it really look uh, pretty cool. All right, so now let's take the Nebula brush. Um, I don't know why I called it that. I thought it just looked kind of spacey and nebula-like. And uh, notice it's set to add glow. And I actually need to pull. Uh, and, and keep in mind, these these uh, brushes are still under modification. So until the set's completely done, you're going to see a few changes in there, uh, like things like this, where I say, okay, you know what? I'd rather have the combined mode other than the mixed ground color in this particular brush. And you guys are welcome to let me know if you prefer uh, anything else. But to me, the combined mode is really important, and I like having it right here and handy. Um, so, like I said, some of these are going to be moved around and, and removed, uh, and then I'll update the uh, brush pack. So, just be aware of that. Okay, so now with the Nebula brush, we take a lighter color. We got it set to add glow. And at first, it looks just kind of like, um, almost like ripples in water or something. And what really, I think, makes this brush start to work well is overlapping different shapes. So, I've got my hand on the bracket keys, and I'm also pressing on the screen and, and dancing back and forth, that sounds silly, but I'm moving the brush back and forth in that specific area, and I'm just building up this pattern. But notice each time it overlaps, that add glow effect is coming into play, and it's creating this real nice kind of power-like effect. And, you know, you combine this with uh, the different sizes, and you get that random shape, like, you know, you want power to look like it's, here I'm pressing really lightly, by the way, you want power to look like it's just radiating, and sometimes it just, you know, goes off on a, a tangent or something. Uh, to me, that's how you get some really neat power effects. And then also, you don't want it to be all just this one effect. And like I said, I'll be creating a few of these so that you can really uh, punch up some, some neat uh, designs. Uh, but also maybe mix in some color, you know, try a little bit of yellow. You know, you get a little bit in there just so it's got a, a different... Uh, element it almost looks like a bit of green which I think is kind of cool uh, I wouldn't go too strong with that part and then you can also come back with a blending mode of something like multiply or darken or overlay let's try multiply let's set it to an even darker blue and let's reverse that pattern uh, to the edge so it's really just a lot of experimentation and really seeing what you can do and like I said I'm, I'm changing the size of that brush it's got a nice randomness, so if you notice, it's not the same pattern over and over. It's flipping and, and rotating the pattern, uh, which, again, I think is really important for uh, power type effects. And then even mix up like a soft brush, set the highlight, set the glow dodge. Let's go back to a uh, maybe more of an aqua blue. Let's see if that does anything for us. Well, it just helps us to punch up that light source in the middle, so maybe I'll keep it small. And, you know, some of that white in there uh, makes it look like the hottest part of the uh, light source. And then you can also do other things, like you can add a new layer over here, and you can play with the blending modes over here as well. So you might be able to take, like, let's try a green. Uh, let's just take a regular brush, and let's just dab a solid green uh, with a soft edge over top and let's play with the blending modes here and I can't guarantee this will do anything neat but this is kind of how I work through the process to really find 
that's kind of cool that's that's a little too much um how i find things so i'll just basically uh work through these and see what i see and then kind of analyze it and go oh how could i use that where, where would that work uh maybe bump down the opacity just a little bit and you know so there's all kinds of neat things you can do with these blending modes and with these brushes so hopefully you guys will really enjoy this pack and this will uh, yield some some nice art for you guys or help you through your art process and add, add glow so these are kind of the same effect uh, kind of like that but again maybe punch it back and if you notice as I drop the opacity it starts to show through more of the underlying um, texture but it also washes away that that color effect and the add glow effect and, you know, you really want to mess with these blending modes because sometimes it's a combination of them as well. Uh, so I think something more subtle like that. I don't, I don't even know that I particularly like the green, but I think it adds a little bit more of an effect to it. Soft light. Might as well go through them all here. Indifference should change the color altogether. Even that's kind of neat in a way. So, yeah. So at any rate, I just want to show you that there's a variety of ways. I kind of like it just like that. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to keep making these brushes. I'm going to keep updating the pack and I'll keep demoing them. Cause like I said, there's going to be, uh, there's going to be a bunch of them. This, this pack's going to be 50. There's going to be some background effects. I've had some really good input from you guys, which I, I want to thank you and, you know, immensely for it really helps. And, uh, let me know what you think of these two brushes and how you can utilize them in your own work. I'd love to see it. So thanks very much for the support and tuning in. More on the way real soon. Keep drawing, keep having fun, and bye for now.